Hey everybody, it's Kenny at Lionel for Less. Uh, I'm here today to talk about something that I found out over the last month of my life. Doing a lot of research and studying about it. In 1966, Paul McCartney at some time was killed in a car crash of his Ashton Martin convertible car. Uh, the myth has it, or the fact, that the Beatles were recording in Abbey Road and the studios, and he left tired, dejected. He had a fight with John about the direction of the band at the time. And the music really says a lot. You know, this wasn't the uh, I want to hold your hand melodic Beatles anymore with the release of Sgt. Pepper. They themselves introduced on the album let me introduce to you the one and only Billy Shears. And in fact, there was a man that looked a lot, almost a dead ringer for Paul McCartney, that they used as a double to, you know, throw off the press and the fans when they did what is, you know, go the other way and actually escape. Because, uh, being born in 1964, I never got to experience Beatlemania. But, man, one thing's for sure, before or in the future, there'll never be another band this big. And, you know, it was to the point of almost, it was worship. And, uh, you know, British CIA MI5 was involved in it. And, you know, the Beatles were duped into doing it. You know, saying, if you guys don't continue, you know, there could be mass suicides by the thousands, maybe the millions of your fans. Because everything was still at its point of hysteria and there was still of course billions of dollars to be made off of this band I mean who would want it to end at that moment their original manager Brian Epstein also passed away within a month or two of this happening which I think he was taken out by corporate you know, bigger corporate ent ent entities who wanted to control the profits and the direction of the Beatles. But, you know, starting with Pepper, the music was so different. The first stuff is really good. Not to say that the later stuff's not good, because there is a lot of good stuff. Uh, some of the most you know, innovative rock and roll probably you've ever heard. But, uh, for one thing, for sure, Paul McCartney was replaced after this car crash. I'm, I'm convinced of it. I know it's an old subject, but I guess I'm late to get into the party on it. And it just, it blew, it blew my mind when I found out about this whole thing. I had heard about it before, but I never really looked into it. And what I've learned over the last month has convinced me that indeed, James Paul McCartney, from Liverpool, the original bassist and songwriter and singer in the Beatles, did indeed die in a car crash or was taken out some other way. And this replacement was put in his place, either by a double or perhaps even a clone, the first celebrity clone. Uh, 
it's just mind blowing to me and if you haven't looked into it it's it's a fascinating subject to look into and I, I recommend you check it out all right I don't have too long here today so I'm just gonna leave you with that and as always I hope you're all doing well God bless and peace <laughs>